Woo! I guess. I don't know. How do you open videos? How does anyone do an intro anymore? I don't freaking know. Hey! Welcome back to Assassin Nathan and my stupid channel that doesn't make any sense and loses content all the time. I mean, loses out on content because it's not like content's disappearing. It's just I don't make any. And that's how that goes. So today, today, we have an update on myself and the channel and Bit Battle Brothers. And then also, I'm going to do a reaction video to some things from the 90s. What? Whoa! Do some 90s effects here. Whoa! I don't... So yeah, I got, uh, uh, during this whole thing that is going on, uh, we'll call it, uh, the, the, uh, Viking, uh, Storms, uh, the Three Musketeers. Anyways, during this whole situation going on, I'm still working, so that's cool. I've been doing a lot more Bit Battle Brothers, and we have an editor for that now, so go check out Bit Battle Brothers, link somewhere probably the description and I've started playing bass no I don't play slap because I'm just learning I'm just starting man uh, maybe one day I'll slap and I'll be the next Nathan 505 David 504 call, call me up man we'll uh, do something so yeah that's cool here's so this is the ESP LTD F4E uh, mahogany uh, it's beautiful I love it to death it's so good uh, this is my second base I bought. I have a cheapie that I was learning on, but then I was like, hey, why don't I get myself a really nice base that I love uh, since I like doing this so much? So that's what I did. I went and got myself a nice base. Uh, other news. I don't really have any. That's kind of it. Um, we talked about Battle Brothers. We talked uh, me playing bass. I am still working, so content when I make content, uh, but that's always been the rule. And then um, we're gonna do a reaction video to something called. Uh, they, uh, if, uh, but, uh, uh, they. if you're Canadian and from the 90s, you might have watched YTV. In fact, you probably did because for a while that was kind of all we had for kids' channels. There was like Global, which was something else before it became Global. And I can't remember what it was, but they only did like Saturday morning cartoons, and that was like Care Bears, uh, Batman, and Inspector Gadget, I want to say, was on there. And then YTV came around, and it was like all kids stuff all the time. And it depends on if you had cable too, right? Uh, YTV wasn't available if you didn't have cable. I feel like it started as Channel 14 and moved to Channel 22, and it might still be Channel 22 on cable. What does this have to do with anything? Really nothing, just background. Anyways, so if you watch YTV, in between programs, they would have things called, they would call them short circuits. And they were little 3D animated videos. I, I haven't seen them probably, I don't know when they aired the last ones, but I probably haven't seen them since maybe 05. So that's a good 15 years. So I was like, hey, why don't I look some of these up? And I do remember some of the ones I'm seeing on this list. But we're going to go through some of them, and we're going to see what they're like, and I'm going to go, whoa, hey, this is a reaction. And that, that could be fun, right? Here we go. I'm jumping in. Okay, the first one we're looking at is called, it's from the Imaginaria. I think they, they what they did was they grouped 3D animations into like one VHS tape. It probably would have been at the time. Maybe they did DVDs at some point, but they would like group them together and then like sell it. And then they would show it on YTV for whatever reason. I don't know. Hey guys, quick disclaimer. I did cut this video down for length purposes. It did get a little long. So sorry about the disjointed bits. If you want to see the full versions of these videos, I will put them in the description so that you, yourself, can go check them out and um, see the stuff that I cut out. Because there was a lot of times where I was just dumbfounded and staring at it and had nothing to say. And it, for the sake of time, I figure we'll just cut it down to the important bits and slap it in. Thanks. But the first one is from Imaginary. It's called All Shapes and Sizes. So let's take a peeps. Alright, we're starting off with us. Uh, a cube, a sphere, and a cone. They are pulsating rainbow colors, okay? No, there's a magician jug. I remember this one. I don't kind of, why is this magician? Is he a magician? Okay. Oh, and then we're into some rotoscope shit. What? I don't, okay. Oh, and then we're in a weird yin yang. I don't understand what this is about. Okay, hold on. I don't know what this is about. It sounds, I'm trying to listen to the, 
to the lyrics, and it sounds like it's about... I just realized I didn't hit record on that. That's okay. We'll figure this out. I mean, hey. <laughs> That's fine. So it sounds like it's about being able to stand up to people and being like, yeah, well, you know, right now I look like this, but may one day I'll look different. Maybe it's supposed to be a positive message. I don't know why there's a magician or... Uh, a, a mayor? He could be a mayor. He has a sash. And he had a top hat. Maybe it's Sir Topham hat. He was juggling the shapes? Let's keep going. I don't know. Now we're in, like, a weird mainframe. And we're going to the core of mainframe. Okay. Oh! It's cut in half. That's not a circle. That's a cube. What?! I don't... Hold on. Hold on. So, whoa. This is like, well, maybe it, th now it's talking about perspectives because the one girl, she's like, well, I see this as a circle. Even though it was like some... what I don't even know. Like it, a D12. It was like a D12. I don't know what you call that shape of a D12, but it was basically a D12. She's like, this looks like a circle. That looks nothing like a circle. At best, you could say it looks like a sphere, and then it changes, and the guy, and then the the male singer's like, "Oh, well, that looks like a square to me. It was a cube. Well, he's not wrong. If he looks at one side, it could look like a square. But what was that? Hold on, replay that. That was that was that was. I feel like that was out of tune, but I could be wrong. Then the. The shapes combine into a ship and they fly through cyberspace, maybe? Into an arcade cabinet. This is still going. Okay, so then a city just springs up out of this honeycomb planet. I, yeah, that's fine. Elephants made of bubbles. Okay, this is fine. Now we're back to rotoscope. Is that what this is called? This is called Rotoscope. Oh, and then the shapes combine. And there's Sir Topham Hat again. He's just standing there. And then... And then he did a backflip and left his top hat behind. All right, that's it. That's it for all shapes and sizes. That was kind of weird. I don't know what the purpose of it is. It sounds like it's about accepting that other people have different points of views, maybe. You know, when you change your shape, you might have a different point of view, and you can look them in the eye. Meaning, like, you'll have the same point of view as them. Maybe also it doesn't mean that, and I'm digging too deep into it, and it's just a little 3D animation. Do Next up, I mean, this is a good one. I'm just going to tell you to go look this one up. It's called More Bells and Whistles. It's a classic. It's a hot jam. Uh, Nathan, put in a clip of it. Right? Good. Really good, right? Woo! Next up, we're gonna go... We're gonna scroll down. Uh, we're gonna pick another... Oh, here we go. No, I remember that one. I don't know if I remember this one. Okay, the next one we're picking is The Mind's Eye. It's a short, it's a short circuit, and this one's called Techno Dance. Let's go! So what are these people? Okay, do you remember in the 90s, there was this weird art style, and it, maybe it's still around, and maybe it's some something tribal or something from another continent that I'm not super aware of, but it was like, 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 how do I describe it? They're like people, but they were like kind of hollow and like, but like sticks. The art style in this is reminding me a lot of that. Okay. Well, now we're just spamming the screen with that. It's a lot of like, oh. What the? Oh, they melted the guitar. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got a reboot char wannabe character here. Look at this guy. Oh my god. Look at this guy. He's like a robot, but not? Oh, come on. Look at that hair, though. Oh, damn. He's not even playing. Oof. Look at her booty. Oh, wow. Nice. And we got little cube people. That, if you guys didn't know, this is the original uh, inspiration for Minecraft, actually. Those little cube owls there that you saw. Um, that's where Notch got his idea. True story. Now we're following a ball through um, future Minecraft. 
Oh, are they bears? They might be bears, not owls. Owl bears? Jump scare. That was a jump scare. It didn't get me because I have no fear, but for most people, that clown, heart attack, caused heart attacks, true story. And now he jump scared a ballerina, okay. What is this? This is called techno dance. I don't see a lot of dancing going on. Oh, now we got wheelie guys. In space, he's in space now. Pulling an R2, okay, he's downloading his points. What are these weird, like, coil people? on infinite staircases that don't make sense. Okay, physics don't matter. Remember that. Oh, okay, yeah, they don't care about physics or science, it's fine. But they're not really in, they're just wheels. That somehow when they like pedal, they wheel them, I don't, but there's no pedals. They must be attached to their feet, that's what it is. And they're really good at cornering. Wow, that's some tight cornering, guys, good job. Wow. Yeah, I guess so. I don't, is this supposed to be something that like I recognize? Is it supposed to mean something to me? Bits and pieces of this seem familiar, um, but not all of it. Oh, this is a huge thing. This is like a maze. Okay. Oh, now we're back to dancing. I remember this guy. This little like uh, Piston Man. I like Piston Man. He's got a sweet like hair thing going on in front. I like that. Um, I don't know what this dance is. Can you, can you just do the, Oh, now. Cool. I can be one of these guys. Call me up. I can dance like this. I can do this. Oh, I just heard some sax. Some smooth sax. Okay, so it's just more of these guys dancing. Oh, these things. I remember these cone things too. Maybe I have seen this one. That's. Oh, we get it. The cut of them clapping and now we're back to our dance. Oh, I didn't, I wasn't doing the hand turning. Oh, yeah, gotta get into it. Is that funny? That's not funny. Where's he going? What is that thing? Hold on, what was that thing? Do you see that little goopy spermy thing? What the hell was that? Zoom in on that. Make a meme. And now we're into ballerina, and it's that tribal dude again. I'm gonna find a picture of that and put it up, by the way. And now we're done. Okay. If you guys enjoyed that, let me know. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, tell me the short circuits you remember, if you uh, remember any from the 90s. If you don't, maybe you weren't Canadian. Maybe you weren't watching YTV. I don't know. Were they played in the States anywhere? It's probably a good question. If you have any weird videos you want to see me react to, let me know in the comments also. And if you want to watch Bit Battle Brothers, check out the description, because there's probably a link in there. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Those three things is what I need from you right now. Go! And then share this video with a friend, one friend, just one, and be like, hey man, you know, give him one of those, or her, although she might not like that. I guess your, your, your male friends might not like that either. How do you do an in-out?